Hi, I'm Phil from Pico Kits. Today we're going to look at how to identify which pins on your microchip turn on which LEDs of the Pico dice. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to have a look at how we're going to create these. And so I've already labeled these tools as corner two, middle legs, center, corner one. And this is what we're going to achieve this lesson to see how we identify the pins and turn those on individually. So let's create a new file and we'll start from scratch. We need to enter the start tool and we need to use an output tool. And essentially this is the easiest tool to get started with PicoFlow Alpha. So, uh, so this is a good first tutorial for you to be watching. Now, of course, there's a few in this series on the Pico dice. So look out for the, the other videos that we have. And each tutorial also has uh, the, the Pico Flow system design file that you can upload onto your own Pico Flow Alpha software. And you can test it alongside uh, your coding ability. So if you ever get anything wrong, just open up the example file and you'll be able to use that to, uh, to see where you're going wrong. So, but this video should help you. So let's open the output tool. And the first thing you'll see is that we have five pins available to us. Uh, so GP 0, 1, 2, 4, and 5. And that's because G general purpose pin 3 is always an input. And anything that we have an input will actually be disabled in the output tool. So we've got five different pins and only four of those are actually going to do anything for us on the Pico DOS because one of those pins will actually be an input tool. So if we do anything and it doesn't work, then we know that that pin's not effective for us. So let's start with uh, G GP0 and you'll see that that updates the value here down the bottom in our code preview. So we'll make that high and essentially when you turn something high, normally that's going to turn something on. So let's program it. And you'll see that that is our, well, let's say corner position one, corner one. So the first thing we want to do after we identify, so general purpose pin zero is corner LEDs one. So we'll actually annotate that corner LEDs one. And let's hit OK, and you'll see that squashes it up a bit. So let's change that annotation, and we'll actually put an enter in there instead of a space. So corner LEDs one. So we've got that set. Now to make it easy, we're going to Control C, copy, Control V, and paste that tool. So we have that set over here, and that's not going to update. So we're going to then uh, change what this one is. So let's get rid of the annotation and we'll turn it off GP0. We'll make GP0 low because we know that's corner LEDs one. So let's try a G GP1 and we'll program that. Okay, so we know GP1 actually isn't doing anything for us. So we can disable that for the moment and just ignore that that pin's actually there. So that's not going to change anything for us. So uh, then let's go and have a look at general purpose pin two. Okay, so there's our general purpose pin two is center lead. Center lead. So we've identified that general purpose pin two is the center lead. Let's copy and paste that tool. And that's our second lot done. So let's have a look at another one. Turn GP2 back to low, GP4. Let's try GP4 and see what that does. Program that. And so we've got the, let's call them middle LEDs. Copy and paste. And the last one should be able to work that out. What would you guess? I'm guessing corner LEDs too. There we have it. Okay, so 
corner leads to. Okay, so now we have all four of those. That's the end of our video uh, for the Pico dice. A nice little tutorial to have a look at how to identify those LEDs. Uh, we can go ahead in the next video. We'll actually have a look at turning that um, into a little display so it flashes between the LEDs and does something uh, a bit different. But there you have it. So that's how to turn on LEDs with the Pico dice using Pico Flow Alpha. Thanks for watching.